And will it be able to go up the hill without the controller? I have nothing in my hand. Well, I can't tell, but it looks like it's going up. It's not hitting anything. Have you ever had those mornings where you can't function without a coffee? Well, this is one of those mornings, but I'm gonna try to function and finish this video, and then I'm gonna get a coffee. Should have got one beforehand. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna take all the drones that were built in the year 2018, well, the popular ones, I only have three of them, which would be the Autel Evo, the Mavic Air, and the Parada Nafi, and I'm gonna do what they call a follow me, an active track, a dynamic track, of uh, well me except i'm not going to do a normal one i'm going to do the one that a lot of people want to know about which is what if i'm walking at one level and then i climb a hill is it going to follow me up the hill what if i climb down the hill will it follow me down the hill or will it just stay at one height and then i just become smaller in the distance or going up the hill will it just crash into the hill as i go up the hill so i don't really have a hill here where i live but uh, i do have something called a crater and you can see an image of it now and that's where i'm going to fly these drones and just walk up the little edge of the crater so uh, here we go first up we have the Mavic Air a lot of people sleeping but they're all gonna wake up as soon as I fly my little Mavic Air up in the air here we go let's get some noise happening so let's go up okay it's not too noisy let me get over here and let's go into the follow me active track so now what I'm gonna try to do, I have the active track on, it will follow me if I move. It'll just follow around here. I'm gonna try to lower it as low as I can. How low can you go active track? Okay, so it says that's as low as you can go active track, which on my screen here says it's 1.9 meters. That's as low as it wants to go for active track. Maybe if I get closer, no, that's it. So now, let's climb up the hill. All right, doesn't look like a big hill. But it actually is a nice, nice grade. Let me see, I'm looking at the height. Oh, you know what? Guess what? The Mavic Air does it because I see the height is increasing. It's increasing as I increase. Look at how perfect that is. So that's pretty amazing, Mavic Air. Where are you? There you are. <laughs> Lost you there in the sun. So you're doing well. All right, let's do your active track avoidance. Do that all at the same time. Now, a lot of people make a mistake when they do follow me or active track is as long as the drone can see you, it will follow you, but it will always take the shortest distance. So if I walk like this, well, it will just lose me behind the tree. I have to come forward, bring it out. Now start turning so it can still see me. There you go. And even though there's a tree there, it should miss it. I'm walking under a tree here. Let's see what it does here. What are you gonna do? You gonna hit the tree? You gotta go under it? Nice, it moved to the right. Well, it's right. So, so far at Mavic Air, you are the gold standard right now because you are awesome technology. So I'm going down the hill. How well can it follow me down? Does it do it down as well as up? Oh, that's pretty cool. Look at it, it's going, it's moving itself up and down. It's, it's trying to follow my height. Well, it's doing it. So let's go over here, back over to the pad. And just a quick test now, because someone's gonna ask, what if I don't have my phone with me? What if I put it down? All right. Well, that was pretty cool. I threw the phone down. If I lift it up, does it go up? I put it down. <laughs> it does, it tilts. It does follow the uh, controller. So there's something to do with that controller that it's following with the height. Let's see if I uh, do it this way. Is it gonna follow me this way? And will it be able to go up the hill without the controller? I have nothing in my hand. Well, I can't tell, but it looks like it's going up. It's not hitting anything. Yeah, it still goes up. So, I assume I'm still in the image because it's following me here. Yeah, so it works perfect, all right. So you do not need the controller to have it follow you. So I'll come back down. Remember I was talking about the noise? <laughs> well, on the sides of the hills, the outer sides here, there's people watching. Hey, did you lose me? 
Well, I thought you lost me for a second. <laughs> then it came running. All right, it could be the sun. The sun doing it because it's right there. No, yeah, shows how my controller is still there. So, so far, the Mavic Air has done exceptional. Next, we have the Autel Evo, all set to go. Let's get the Evo up in the air. A little bit more quiet back there now, so we'll try the same thing. I'm going to go into Active Track. Actually, on here, they call it Dynamic Track, same idea. So now, it should be following me. If I move, are you going to follow me? All right. Got a big hill here. Let's see, Evo, if you can come up the hill with me. Let me see, I'm looking at the height. It says distance, height 2.7. That's got to go up. If it doesn't go up, uh-oh, it doesn't climb a hill. Well, that's kind of disappointing. I thought it had that feature. It's saying there's a hill in the way. Hang on a second. What's going on here? Yeah, it doesn't. So I have to come back. I know, I'm the person in front of you. You're supposed to be following. <laughs> All right, so that is not doing it. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm just gonna stop it and uh, we'll try it again. Let's go back. Okay, so test number two. Draw a square around a person, that would be me. And then follow me, dynamic track, it's too low it says, go up higher. I'm gonna walk this way. Can you follow me this way? And I'm gonna walk on this lightly colored grass over here, which will make me stand out maybe a bit more. I don't know. See, I still see myself on the screen, but I don't see the height. That's 2.7 meters. As I go up, it should be increasing because it's just gonna walk, drive into the hill and put the, there it goes. It just says, nope. Well, I'll keep going. Keep going, keep going. I'm up, I'm up. Gonna follow me? You should rise, Autel. Rise, Evo. See if I do it for you. There, I just put you up in the air. And now you're saying, sure, I can follow you if you put me up in the air, which it is doing. But that's not really what we want because then... Yeah, now it's stuck there again. It says you gotta put me higher. No. I don't know. Try it this way. Oh, now it's following a tree. <laughs> All right, so. Without a doubt, I'll tell. Here, I'll just get the stop on this thing. Okay, I'll tell. <laughs> you really need to work on that. You gotta fix that horizon tilt and you gotta fix the dynamic track because it's kind of useless if it only follows you on the ground and can't follow everything. Actually, it's not that bad. These features were not on all the DJI drones when they first came out. They were at it later. So just if the more users that want it, the more Autel will add that feature to the uh, Evo. Right now, unfortunately, it doesn't have it. So if you wanted to track yourself climbing a mountain or track yourself doing something uh, skiing down a hill, it wouldn't work. I'll just see if there's any other mode on here that I miss. Uh, so the only dynamic tracks are tripod mode, follow me mode, and parallel mode, and that's it. So if I'm a total goofball and I did it wrong, explain it in the comments below, because honestly, it should just follow you. I don't know. All right. Next up, we have the Parrot Anafi. Take off the Parrot Anafi, go up in the air, or get out of the shadow, there you can see it. So the Anafi, I have GPS lock right now, and on the Parrot Anafi, uh, I also had to buy the follow me. It's not free. Follow me. There we go. All right. So now if I move, it should follow me. Now, this one here, as I said, it doesn't have a height, so I can bring it way down. It's, the camera points up like it's, I don't want to go any lower or it's going to land. That would be a terrible follow me, but let's bring it pretty darn low so that it looks cool going up the hill. All right. Don't hit any of this because there's no obstacle avoidance. <laughs> All right, this could be good or this could be bad, what I'm doing here. I've got it really low. All right, let's go up the hill. Hopefully you climb. If you don't, because there's no obstacle avoidance, we have a problem. Yeah, I knew the parrot would climb because the parrot really makes use of the actual GPS and, the, and barometer in the phone as well. So I'm going to try it without that in a bit. But uh, there we go, we're up the hill. 
I can't do obstacle avoidance with it because it doesn't have it, so I can't run it through the trees like I did with the Mavic Air. Let's bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. There we go. Up to the top. Here we go. And if I run this way, it goes that way. But I want to go down, so I'm going to go this way. Whoa, whoa. Which way are you going to go? I'm just going to run out of down the hill. What's it going to do? It's got nothing in the back. My GoPro camera must be bouncing all over the place here. And does it, go, it actually goes down to its nice low altitude again. That's really well done. All right, next test is, uh, let's just put you down. And uh, there we go. What's it gonna do if I, I'm gonna bring it up just so it's a little less crazy. Okay. Now, what are you gonna do, Anafi? Oh, that's too high. All right, so what are you gonna do, Anafi? I don't have a controller. Are you still gonna follow me? That's still following me. Are you able to go up a hill or are you gonna crash into it? Let's see. The controller's over there. I don't know what it's doing. I'm going up. It seems like it's going up, but it's not following me. It wants to stay where that controller is. So it looks like with the Anafi, it will follow you, but it wants to stay in place if you don't have the controller which means the controller and the cell phone must work together for the continuation of the follow me. Without it, you can just move around without it, but the drone won't go near or far. Like if I run at the drone, it's just gonna look down, look down. Oh, now it's coming down out of the air at me because I'm lower. So it does match the height with the height I am because when I went up the hill, it went up, but it didn't follow me. And now that I'm down here, it's following me down here. And if I go back to the hill, I'm gonna get my workout today. <laughs> See, it stays there. It won't follow me anymore. But I'm climbing the hill and it's climbing up in the air. Interesting. I'm not gonna do anything. I'm just gonna grab the controller and uh, see what it does. All right, got the controller. And now, same thing. Yeah, see, now it's like a dog. This is like a leash to a dog. It will follow you if it has this, which is basically the leash. So now if I go up the hill, it's coming along. It doesn't just sit back there. All right. So that's how the Paradafi works. I would say so far the Mavic Air for the active track is by far the best. Because with the Mavic Air, you get the ability to go change heights up and down. You also have the ability not to use the controller and do the same thing. And you also have the ability that it has obstacle avoidance, which this does not have. So uh, Mavic Air, you're winning. All right, this is called the segue portion to my video as I segue into another portion. You see I have a coffee, I'm much more awake, less grumpy. And behind me, we've got a ton of RC planes. And if I flip this way, we have a few people out flying those RC planes, which are whizzing over my head. All right, I'm gonna head out to the woods and uh, do some active track and avoidance, obstacle avoidance with the Evo and the Mavic Air. Let's launch the Mavic Air. Okay, so that's the forest over there. <laughs> I'm not gonna fly through that. I'm actually gonna just fly around these trees because obviously it wouldn't fly through those trees. Let's see if it can follow me around these trees here. Mavic Air, this is your test. I'm walking out in the woods and I'm just walking by, let's say, where are you, over there? Let's say I'm gonna walk by this tree. Just make sure I can still see myself in the picture. So I walk on an angle. See my head over here. As long as you can see me, we should be good. So it has a choice. Whoa, that was pretty cool. It actually flashed red on my screen. <laughs> well, this is what happens. So active track or dynamic track, if it encounters an object, it will not crash into it if it has obstacle avoidance as the Mavic Air does. It will try to go around it and if it can't, it just stops. All right, 
try that again. Let's go between these two trees over here. A little easier, I think, to me anyways. So I'm walking along, there's a tree here and there's a tree here. I can still see myself, I'm in the video, so it should make it through, no problem. I should have nothing to worry about. It beeps a little bit that there's a tree there, but it went through. All right. And the great thing about the Mavic Air, unlike a lot of other drones on the market, it has sensors on the back. So watch this. I'm looking up at it. I don't know, the sun's right there, but I'm gonna walk backwards. And I'm gonna try to make it go into the tree. You see, it doesn't want to. It says there's a tree behind me. So I have to turn a little bit this way and now it should go. Go, yeah, it goes, there we go. So I guess what you have to do is just steer it. So that's why obstacle avoidance in the back and in the front is the best thing in the world to have. I'm gonna walk along these trees. Let's see what the drone does. Move that out of the way. Oh, missed that one, that's good. So you missed one. Did you miss that one? It's going, you hear all the beeps? Go crazy, oh, this one here has got some low hanging branches. Whoa! Okay, so Mavic Air, you did well. And of course, we have the little ones back here. This is nothing for it. Or is it? Because it kind of blends in. Eh, it did well on that one. And we'll do this one, the last one here. Coming around, is it gonna hit it? No, it missed it. All right, Mavic Air, you're pretty cool. All right, so let's go try the Autel Evo. All right, let's fire up the Autel Levo, take it up. We're gonna do the same little trick that we did with the Mavic Air. And it says right here, you can see on my big screen, I'm in dynamic track. Unlike the last test, there are no hills to contend with here. It's flat ground. This is what most people use dynamic track for. All right, I'm gonna walk past this tree. You see it right here? I'm gonna go like this. It sees the tree. Is it gonna go around it? All right, good job, went around it. There are rear sensors on the Autel Evo. On the Evo, you have to engage backwards flying because it turns it off automatically. Now, it will fly into this tree that we have coming up here as I walk back. But it's telling me, it's saying, hey, it's saying, Steve, what are you doing? There's a tree behind me. Here's something new I did not know. The sensors on the back of the Evo work in dynamic tracking. So it has rear sensors for dynamic tracking and forward sensors, just like the Mavic Air but the rear sensors do not work in normal flight. Watch this, I'll walk into that tree again. It will not fly into the tree. Don't make a liar out of me or else this thing's gonna start shredding a tree. Going back, I'm not doing anything. There you go. Yeah. It will not fly into an object. Well, there we go. I learned something new today. I did not know the Evo had that, so that's a pretty cool feature. Evo's up there. All right, Evo, you coming? Here we go. See the trees behind me? Whoa, as I walk into this tree. All right, I'll do just like I did with the Mavic. I'm walking this way, so you can, as long as the bird can still see me, it should be able to move itself around objects. So as long as I'm in perfect view, it should work well. Let's see, I see a lot of red on the screen. Well, oh, is it gonna come? Yes! It quite accurately went around that object. So let's see, I'm still going. Still going the little tree can miss that easily. And now this last tree with the leaves that are very light in color that mess in with their other ones. I'll just look backwards as it comes. Here we go. Can it see me? Yeah, it moves over that way. So Autel Evo. I would say the dynamic track for walking on a flat surface is probably just as good as the Mavic Air forwards and backwards. It seems to be doing exactly what it's designed to do. And I'm standing right beside the Autel Evo, and uh, that's how loud it is. It's not as quiet as a Parrot Anafi. It's not as quiet as a Mavic Pro Platinum or a Mavic Pro with the low noise props, but it is still pretty quiet. Bring it down for a landing. There we go. Nice on the H. All right, everyone, thanks for watching this video. My coffee's over there, which I have to grab, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it on dynamic track, active track, and follow me. I didn't use the Peridonafi because it does not have obstacle avoidance. It would crash into every single tree here. And uh, that's probably not a good test to show you that. Just take my word for it. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Take care. We'll catch you in the next one.